Hey everybody, it's Ben here, and it's a beautiful spring day here in Wisconsin. And I'm pretty excited about that because I'm literally spinning my power meter backwards right now. Uh, the solar on my garage can actually produce over 5,000 watts of power, and my electric car here has about a 3,300 watt charger on it. So it's completely possible for me to create power, charge my electric car, run my house, power my garage and still have power left over to go back out to my neighborhood, help power my neighbors, and I get credited for it. So I'm actually running my, I'm, I'm spinning my power meter backwards. But what's that even mean? Well, let's take a look at the back of my house, at my power meter, and I'll explain. Okay, so if we take a look at my digital power meter, you can see a couple of things on here. Uh, first of all, LST003, that's the number for, that's my regular uh, kind of odometer for how much power I'm using over six megawatts. LST04 is how much power I've sent back to the grid, which is about 4.6 megawatt hours. And then the other thing to look at here is we have a little animating disc at the bottom and it's going to the left. So that's indicating that I'm uh, sending power to the grid. And then also how fast it's moving uh, indicates relatively how much power I'm sending to the grid. Lastly, on the right hand side, we have uh, this pair of arrows. And when it's pointing to the left, it's showing I'm sending power to the grid. When it's pointing to the right, it shows that I'm drawing power from the grid. So at this point, um, we're animating to the left relatively quick. Now I'll show you what happens when I plug in the electric car. I'll actually have my wife do that right now. Kristen, if you can plug that in. So she's going to plug in the electric car and it'll just take a second or two for uh, the charger to kick on and the car to start drawing power. So both my house, uh, my garage, and the electric car are all drawing on the power being made from the solar panels right now. And only whatever is left over is going to go to the grid. Or if I'm using so much, I might need to pull power from the grid. We'll see this disc go the other direction and that arrow flip directions as well. But as you can see, we're still sending to the grid, but now much slower. It's, uh, it's a lot less power going to the grid, but still, I'm charging the electric car, um, I'm powering my house and my garage, and we're still sending a little bit of electricity out to my local neighborhood. Now, one other thing here that's kind of interesting is you can see since this meter was reprogrammed, I've used about 6.6 .6 megawatt hours of power from the grid, but I've only sent to the grid about 4.6 kilowatt uh, uh, megawatt hours. And I was hoping to design a system where I would essentially make as much power as I use. And the reason why these two numbers are different is because it doesn't account for the power that I simply use in my home. Uh, that power is just not kept track of. It's just used up rather than sent out to the grid. Uh, but once you account for that, it's more or less a net zero system. So I'm just thrilled that we're having some great weather again, and it literally means that I will not have an electric bill this month. Um, I'll also be probably getting a credit from the power company that I can just rack that up so as we eventually get into winter, I can actually start paying for electric bills in the winter with credits I have built up right now. Uh, if you like my videos talking about renewable energy, do-it-yourself projects, all that sort of thing, please like, subscribe, uh, share the videos with your friends, and until next time, Stay charged up.